So when I showed people in my last video that the Australian $5 banknote can play records, people thought it was really cool. So I thought I'd show you some more cool things about Australian currency. So what we have here is a 20 cent coin. I think you guys can see that. You can focus on that, can you? One thing not many people know about the Australian 20 cent coin is it's actually edible. Uh, sure. Okay, it doesn't really taste good. Okay, so this isn't actually a 20 cent coin. It certainly looks like one but it's actually made out of indium. So indium is uh, one of the softest known metals, which is why I could easily take a bite out of it like that. So it has a melting point of only about 156 degrees centigrade. With such a low melting point, indium can easily be melted over candles. So you can see I did that inside this little um, crucible. So I think it's trapping a lot of air bubbles underneath because this is too cold so it instantly cools down. So I'm going to try with some plaster which I can actually heat up because when I heated this up in the oven all the air bubbles inside expanded and warped the mold so this didn't work but we'll try it with something else. There we go. Got another little mold. Um, how am I going to do this? I'll just get these coins out of here. Hopefully not break this. So plaster is great for calcium, but when you put in something metal in like this, it's really hard to separate it. There's one. Okay, so you can just see the design of the coin in there. I don't want this falling apart while I try and have molten metal in there. It'll still work. All right, so it's cooled down enough to touch now. Let's see if this worked. Wow. So another cool feature about indium is the fact that it is non-reactive in atmosphere, which means it's not gonna oxidize and it's gonna be a layer of pure indium. So we can do this cool trick, which just grab these, give them a twist. It's called oh, cold welding. So by just squeezing out the air between them, the two layers of metal touching each other weld themselves together. So I can, I can pull it apart with a little bit of force, but if I get a bigger surface area and twist a bit harder, you can see it's a bit harder to pull apart now. Let's dig in. Yeah. And some final news, I'm going to give away some indium. So for my first ever giveaway, all you got to do is follow the link down in the description. Uh, it'll take you to the page where all you'll do is follow a few simple things to get some entries. And in about a week's time, I will then draw the winner and send them 10 grams of indium, just like this. So best of luck. Other than that, that's all for this episode of 29. I'll see you guys later.